This is Chris Menard. I've got a great lesson in Excel today. If you ever get a file from a website that you downloaded, from a CSV file, from maybe a database, even from a friend or a coworker, do not assume that the data is correct. So here's my example. I have five different products over here in column A. I've got 12 months running across the top. I'm going to highlight and do an auto sum. Everything looks great. In fact, I'm going to come over and total these up. 753 is the total for all 12 months. I'm going to go to the Formulas tab, and I want to check this using Formula Auditing. Here's the Formula Auditing group. Trace precedence will show me every cell that pulls into this 753. I'm going to click it once. I'm going to click it a second time. So everything looks great. I'm going to remove the arrows. And I'm going to delete that 753 for now. Here's the problem. This is not correct. Even though it looks correct, I'm going to do count A. Count A will count anything that's not blank. It counts numbers and it counts text. 60, 12 months, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12 times 5 is 60. Then I'm going to do the count function. Count A counts text and numbers. The count function will only count numbers. So three of those numbers that you see that look like numbers aren't numbers, they're text. I could have also, just so you know this, and just so you don't have to rewind this, I'm going to throw the formula text function, which is in Excel 2016 in here. I could have also done a count if. If I didn't want to do count and count A, count if has two arguments, the range and the criteria, double quotes, star, double quotes. I'm basically saying count anything that's text. And I have three. But the issue is this. Where are those three? I don't want to have to go look through them. Even though I only have 60 numbers, assume I have 60,000 numbers. Here's a little trick that I know. Whenever you have data that has text and numbers, the text, even though it looks like a number, is always greater than the numbers. Look over here in this column P that I created. I'm going to right click, do a sort. I know you can't see that, so let me go this way. Data. Sort and filter. I'm going to sort largest to smallest. Text will always be greater than numbers. And there, I actually not got, now I've got the triangles. Those three numbers are text. Undo. In case you're wondering, text is always greater than numbers, so it kept them in the exact same order. So that 75 is basically equal to the 6815 and the 22 because they're all text. I'll do it one more time now. So now that you know that text is greater than numbers, I still need to find those three cells that have text in them. I'm going to highlight this range, Home tab, Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cells Greater Than. I could have come in here and gone to Conditional Formatting and wrote a formula and used Is Text, but I just told you that text is greater than numbers. I'm going to just start pressing the number 9. So I just put in a really large number, click OK. There are the three cells that I have that are text. That's actually supposed to be 22, which should make this 46. Watch what happens. 60, 58, and now I'm down to 2. 18, 30. I'm going to undo. I could have also, so that was conditional formatting. To show you greater than, I typed in a bunch of nines. You can also just come down here, type the number one, copy it, which is even easier. Highlight all your numbers. Right click and go to paste special. And just multiply. That's honestly, that's easier. 
So I did a right click, paste special, multiply. I clicked OK. It converts everything that's text to a number. What I'm looking for is those two to match and this one to be zero. So make sure you know how to do a count A, a count. And if you don't want to do those two, you know how to at least do the count if. But honestly, these are three functions right here. You'll need the rest of your career anyway. So just make sure you know how to do those. Thank you for your time. I've got to get. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful weekend.